Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're at the Gare d'Est here in Paris. And today I want to talk about are the train stations and the train system here in Paris. Because if you're going to visit France, you're going to be taking the TGVs. You're going to be taking those fast trains all around, and you're going to probably be leaving or going through Paris. So it's a good idea to have a good understanding of how the train system works here. The one thing you have to realize is there's actually multiple train stations in Paris, and they go to different parts of the country. So if you're coming from Normandy and then you want to go down to, you know, Avignon, you're probably going to have to switch train stations. That means taking a metro or a taxi or going other ways to get to the different stations because they're not all connected easily, okay? So let's, let's just get that out of the way first. Now, if you're looking at some of the stations that are important that you're going to use, we're here at Gardez. And Gardez is very important because it focuses on the eastern part of the country. So if you're here in Gardez, like we're going to Strasbourg and Colmar, those trains leave from here. If you're going to be going to eastern parts of the country, maybe you're going to go to Metz or Nancy, that leaves from here as well. Also, trains going to Germany. Now, not all the trains going to Germany, but a lot of the trains that go from Germany leave here from Gare de Est. Now, literally about a 10 or 15 minute walk from here, you have the Gare de Nord, which is popular because that's where the Eurostar from London comes in. If you're going to be taking the train to Belgium or the Netherlands or up to London, that all goes from the Gare de Nord. And also, since it's Gare de Nord, it kind of gives it away that it's the North Station, so that's what you're going to use to go to the northern part of France as well. So if you're looking at Lille or you're looking at Calais, that's going to be from Gare de Nord. So the next station I want to talk about is Gare de Lyon. And surprisingly, if you're going to go to Lyon, the second largest city in France, you will be leaving from Gare de Lyon. But also, one of my favorite cities in France, Avignon, you're going to leave from the Gare de Lyon as well. Also, trains to Marseille, and if you get a train down to Barcelona, it can leave from there too. Now, the next train station I want to talk about is the Gare de Austerlitz. And this is one that's going to go towards more southwest, uh, south central, central France. So if you're going to go into the Loire Valley, that would be these train stations you're going to use. You're going to go there. If you're going to go into Toulouse, that's going to help you too. Now, the next station I want to talk about isn't as pretty as, as some of these other stations. It's the Montparnasse station. It's a newer construction, let's say. Um, but that one actually goes to a lot of places. If you want to go down to Bordeaux, which is a fantastic city to visit, that's what you're going to use. If you're going over to Brittany, you know, Britannia, that's going to be a place you're going to go. If you're looking to go to Chartres or Rennes, those are a lot of destinations. So a lot of destinations going from there, you know, and you're looking more like Southwest France. But one thing you have to realize is though some of these seem like it's obvious where they're going to go, Trains to one destination might leave from different train stations, so always make sure you check your tickets which station you're going to be leaving from. Now, if you want to go see the D-Day beaches, you got a whole different station to go to, and that's the San Lazare station, okay? Go San Lazare. And that is where you're going to go to Normandy, if you're going to, want to see the D-Day beaches, you want to go out to Mont Saint-Michel, that's the direction you're going to go. Um, if you're going to go to Rune, which is fantastic, or Le Havre, really nice places to go visit. That's the station you're going to need. And then you have God of Bessie. And Bessie is basically going to get you to the Burgundy region and maybe some trains to Italy. So you have that. And the thing is, you see how confusing this is with all these different train stations? That's why it's really important. If you can download the app onto your phone to get your tickets, it's going to tell you what station it leaves from to make your life a lot easier. If you're connecting through Paris, it will tell you that you come into Gare de Nord and then you have to leave from Gare de Est and so then you have to figure out the way between the two. They do not help you find that. So you might need to get a metro ticket, you might need to get that taxi, or if you're from Gare de Nord, Gare de Est, it's like a 10 to 15 minute walk, you can do that, okay? Now, if you don't want to go online to buy the tickets, which I think you should, it's a lot easier, you can go to the stations, they do have ticket offices there. If you're going to do an international trip, sometimes you can't buy the international stuff, online you have to go to that uh, which can be a bit of a long line so give yourself time but honestly once you know which stations you're going to be leaving from and where you're going to go around the country it's really easy to figure out but just know it can be confusing the first time so i hope this video helps you understand what stations are which and which ones you're going to need to go visit some of the great places in this country so i'll say au revoir from here in god the est we got to go grab our train to Strasbourg. bye